Okay, for tables this week, I'm going to teach you a game called 99. Some of you may have played it before. It's a great game for adding a little bit of subtraction and a bit of strategy too. And all you need is a pack of cards. And if you don't have a pack of cards, you can just make up your own cards as well. Just cut out a piece of paper, one to ten, and draw out your own picture cards too. Okay, so let's see. What's it all about? So as I said, it's called 99. You can have as many players as you want. Um, everybody gets three cards to start. And your aim is... To not go over the number 99, and I'll explain that in a minute. If you do, you lose a life. Everybody starts with three lives, but you can change that. That's up to yourself. You might all want to start with five lives. Um, and whoever is the last person with a life is the winner. Okay? There's certain trick cards in it, and I'll explain them too. So you get your pack of cards here, which my son vandalized during the week. I was very disappointed, but I was also very happy that his rectangle seemed to be getting a bit better. Um... And everybody gets their three cards. It's dealt out just like it is in any other card game. Maybe come up with your own rule for who starts. Could be the youngest. Could be whatever you want. And as you get, as you put out your card, there's a five. The person who puts it out calls five out. The next person puts their card out. Might be a two. And they add it to the total. And the next, they call out the new total. They don't call out what the card is. Seven. Okay? But it's not as simple as that. After, and as you put a card down, you pick up a new card. Okay? Because some of the cards are trick cards. So, for example, a four, a four reverses play. That'll go back to the last person who, played, who um, played. A nine passes, so you don't have to take your goal. That could be very handy if you're up close to 99 and you don't want to be the person to put it over 99. You can use your nine to pass it on. Ten subtracts play. All these cards are very handy when you're up close to 99. Okay. A king that's handy to put someone else under pressure. It takes us straight to 99. Remember, you don't want to go over 99. So if you put down a king, the person after you would need a trick card like a 4, or 9, or a 10 to get out of trouble. And an ace can be either 1 or 11. The player playing it decides. Okay? So I'll play a game against myself now to show you how to play it. So I'll deal out one for me, one for my other self. Okay? Okay. So let's see. What do I have? Oh, straight away, look, I've got some very good cards here. I've got a five, which is, that's just a normal card that would just add to my pile. But I've got a king there that would take it to 99. And I've also got a nine that would give me a free pass, okay? So I'm going to start and try and put this full under pressure straight away. I'm going to put down my king and call out the new total. 99, I'll pick up my new card. And let's see what the other person is thinking. Let's look at what their cards will be. Remember, you can have loads of players playing at one time. Hmm, this person isn't too upset now because look, they've got a trick card. They've got a nine there, and a nine means you can pass. Okay, so they're putting down their nine, and the total stays 99. And they pick their new card. It stays 99, and after passing it back over to the next player. The next player happens to be me because we've only two players in this game. Okay, so it's still on 99. If I put a five, I'm going to go over 99. If I put a jack, I should have said that the picture cards are worth 10. That's a jack and a queen. So I'm going to have to use my the only trick card I have, this nine. And I'm passing it back over to this. Man, don't forget to take your card. Now, this person. I haven't seen what the new card is for this person yet. Mm, six. That's two and an ace. I could decide that the ace is worth one. But it's still going to bring me over 99. Oh no. Down it goes. Up to 100, I lose my life there. So that person's down to two. Down to two. Okay? I'll do a second hand just to show you where you do a bit of adding. So I'll go one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. So let's say this person starts this time. Oh, look. Lucky them as well. They've got a king or an ace or an eight. Let's just say I didn't start with my king this time. I didn't want to put it under pressure. Um, uh, I might start with a, an, I'll start with my eight, let's see, okay, so I put down eight, I call out my total, let's look at the other person's cards, hmm, okay, they have not, nothing special there except the nine, which is a pass card, so I'll just put down my six here, and call out the new total, eight plus six is fourteen, obviously don't let them see their cards like that, pick them on their card, hmm, I'm going to keep playing Koi here, then back to the other cards, I'll use my, I don't want to use the ten, because that's a subtract ten card, Here's my ace. I'm going to make it worth 11. So the total was 14. I'm going to say 14 plus 11, 25. And I pick my new card. Okay, now let's look over here. 
25. I don't want to waste my 9 because I need that if I get put up next to 99. I'll use my queen, put up another 10. So I was on t the total was 25. 25 plus 10 is 35. New total. Get my card. Hmm, here I am over here. Okay, I think it's time to attack now because look at this card. Look at the cards I have here. I've got a king, which will bring us straight to 99. And then I've got two 10s, which subtracts 10 from the total. So I'm going to put them under pressure here. 99. Put this back. Hmm, this guy now, let's see what he can do. Seven is no good, that'll bring me over 99. Eight is no good, that'll bring me over 99. Nine is my only go here, because that will make it stay a 99. So I, I'm passing it over to the next person. So pass, 99 still. Got his new card. Okay, let's see. 10, 10, 7, I can't use my 7. I'm going to have to use one of my 10s. I'm going to bring it back down to 89. I'll take my card. Hmm, I've got an 8, a 7. And the queen, let's use the queen and try and put him back up to 99 and put him and take a risk. 99. And let's go back to this person. They've got a 10, a 7, and a 3. Use your 10 again. Back to 89 and take their card. Let's see this person. Hmm. I'll save this 10 a while. Look, come handy. I'll use my 8. So 89 plus 8 gives me 97. Let's go back to this person. 97 plus 7. No, that'll bring me over. 97 plus 3. No, that'll bring me over. Oh, and a pass card. Uh, so I'm passing it back to this person. And look, this person has a 10. It could go on and on and on. I'd be doing my video here forever. But, you know, the more people you have in it, the more chance someone will be knocked out there. So keep playing at that game. And remember, if you go over 99, you lose a life, not if you're on 99. Okay, keep going with your multiplication and division tables. Keep going over them. I'll give you a little assessment in a couple of weeks' time. So make sure you've got them bang on and enjoy 99 this week.